Number 53. Hydrogen is prepared commercially by the reaction of methane and water vapor at elevated temperatures. And then we have this equation right here. What is the equilibrium constant for the reaction if a mixture at equilibrium contains gases with the following concentrations? And then they give us these. They got CH4, which has 0.126 molarity, H2O, which has 0.0. 242 molarity, CO with 0.126 molarity, H2 uh, with 1.15 molarity at a temperature of 760 degrees Celsius. All right, so first thing is I'm going to rewrite the formula. They told me that we had CH4 gas plus H2O gas, and this comes to equilibrium with 3H2 gas plus CO gas. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write down the values that they told me. So let's see, CH4 they told me was 0.126 molarity, the H2O was 0.242 molarity, the H2 was 1.15 molarity, and then the CO was 0.126 molarity. Now. Just make sure that you write down or just say in your mind what these values are. Are they initial values? Are they at equilibrium? Or are they change? Uh, change from initial to equilibrium. They did state here that they said a mixture was at equilibrium and it contained these concentrations. So these are equilibrium values. It may not seem like a lot now or important now, but once we do harder practice problems, it's going to make much of a difference. So I'm just trying to get you into that, the harder type of problems. So they wanted to find out what an equilibrium constant was. Remember, equilibrium constant is the capital K's, and they gave me all molarity values, so that's concentration. So we're specifically looking for a Kc. We know what the Kc formula is. It's this one right here. It's products divided by reactants, right? So we have to write a more specific formula. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just put this up here. Only aqueous and gases are allowed. So first, just make sure if your states match. But these are all gases, right? Gas, 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 and gas. I do see that they gave me coefficients, right? So I'm going to assume that it's balanced. You could always pause the video just to make sure that it's balanced. But I'm looking at it right now, and it, it looks pretty balanced to me. So let's write the general KC formula. KC equals something over something else. And maybe if I just color code this, right, this would be in red 1.15 molarity, and then this would be the 0 0.126 molarity. Okay, so products over reactants, we got H2, close that bracket up, and there's three of them, right? The coefficient is three. Remember, we got to raise every one to the coefficient, so I will raise this to the third. When you have multiple products, remember it's multiplication in the KC formula, so I'm just going to keep going. This one, there was no number in the front, so that means that it's raised to the first. You don't have to write that down there, though. Let's move on to the reactants. This would be concentration of CH4. Close up that bracket. There's a one in front of here, so I don't have to raise it to the first because, you know, anything raised to the first is itself. And the same thing goes for the H2O. Okie dokie. Now, let's plug in those numbers. Now, the reason why I stressed that this was at equilibrium was only equilibrium values are allowed in this formula. No initial values, no change in values, only equilibrium. Since they gave me the equilibrium, I'm just going to plug them right in. So I got the H2, which was 1.15. Close that parenthesis, raise it to the third. Moving on to the CO, I got 0. Whoops, 0.126. Close that up. Let's divide it by the CH4, which was 0. 0.126. Close that up and then times by the 0 0.242. Okay, let's get one number for the top and one number for the bottom, and then, whoop, hold on a minute. Divide that by that, right? And then we just divide the two. So let's see, what number do I get for the top? 
I get 1.15 cubed times 0.126. I get a lot of decimals, so maybe I'll just say 0 0.1916. Three zero, and then the bottom number would be 0 0.126 times 0 0.242. I get 0 0.030492. Now all we got to do is just divide them. I'm just going to put it up here, okay, guys? So 0 0.191630 divided by 0 0.030492. And let's just see. Okay, and let's see. I'm looking at my sig figs. Does really anybody care at sig figs at this point? No, but just in case, three sig figs, 6.28. And there you go. Now, quick thing here, guys. Some of you might be saying, but wait, Christina, you didn't use any of the temperature, right? They, they gave me a temperature. I got to use the number. Is temperature in this formula? No, it's not. So does it matter? It does not. So sometimes they'll give you extra numbers. Just trust the equations, okay? There was no temperature allowed in here, so I don't even care what temperature it's at. And there you go. Hopefully this helped, guys. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously, and I thank you so much for that. You guys have been great throughout this whole process of, of us trying to, you know, give you guys great educational content for not only chemistry, but we also have physics and math videos on the channel as well. Hopefully in the future we can build some more uh, subjects. So if you guys have any suggestions as to, you know, the subjects that you want us to do, I'm, he I'm here to listen. All right, so just let me know. Thank you so much, and I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.